Hello. Hey, folks. <laughs> How's it going tonight? This is... I think we're live. It says that we're live. Let me adjust everything. My hat's crooked. Oh, well. I'm going to try to fix that. <clears throat> Welcome to the Prepared Homestead. Uh, my name's Travis. If your first time joining us, this is my lovely wife, Rivka. Hi. And we're, we're <clears throat> I think think we've got things going here uh and it shows at least on our end that we are live how is everyone going doing tonight it is it has been a lovely saturday shabbat for us the day has just it's a beautiful weather day and uh it's not picking up oh is it not she's trying to see on on her phone as if it's live hold on yeah, I think we are. Oh, there it we didn't are. Just pick up on it. Yeah, automatically. There we go. All right, there we go. Now we got people signing, saying something. We were trying to make sure that we were actually live. It's, yeah. it's you know, we're doing it Hello. on this laptop, so it's 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 a little different. Five by five. Josh is saying morning. Good morning. morning. <laughs> Did you Goodness. just wake up? Was it a restful Shabbat? So. Again, how's everyone doing? We've got North Carolina, South Dakota, North Georgia, Central Kentucky. Thumbs up, everyone, girl, Carpenter. Um, Illinois, mm -hmm. Calgary, Canada, Pennsylvania, Northwest Minnesota. Uh, all Very kinds restful. Of, yes, Shabbat. Texas, Cal Southern California, Louisiana, Yukon, Hi, Yukon, Missouri. Oh, Yukon, Missouri. That's not too far away. Hi, Melanie. I know where that's at. Lots and lots of people. Um, so it, it's for, for some of us and, and some of you uh, to welcome everyone to the stream. She said rainy Las Vegas. Yes, I said rainy. Rainy. <laughs> like the opposite of what it ever does there. Oh. Rainy, get it? <laughs> yes, so, it's called rainy. Rainy Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, so for those of you that uh, are over on our, our locals uh, page. We uh, we had been doing live streams over there on Sunday afternoons, and it, Sundays are just crazy busy for us. Usually, um, we you know we're, we've had our day of rest on Saturday, and so Sundays we're we're busy doing stuff. So it was always kind of difficult to do. Hello, Lynn. I'm just reading comments. Sorry. That's all right. You just and then, talk, and I'll just. And then Sundays is also a busy day for for me now. Uh, taking nine one one calls, they're just. Shalom, Not English. always a call, but it's it's often that there's a call. So if you're on locals, uh, we haven't done a live stream uh, in a while. We did one this past Thursday, and we're going to start doing them on Thursday evenings and see how that works out. I know it's a little different, but uh, we're going to start doing it. It was a really good live stream. We had some some good conversation going on. So if you're on our locals, um, you know, site membership. Um, Thursday evenings, we're going to start doing. Well, and I kind of talked a little bit about what I am hoping to do yes. in the future, but I'm not going to. Yeah. She might have like a, a ladies' live stream and things like that going on over there at different times. Or just so. a plain old regular live stream for me. I don't know, like just mine mm -hmm. or whatever, because you're busy. <clears throat> it's hard for you to do things. Right. right. <laughs> Someone is asking, hold on just a second. I'm going to leave a link. Someone asked about gold and silver. I'll leave a link for you here in just a second. So hold on. Somebody says they like your shirt. Oh, you can hear me talking. Sorry, guys. I'm messing with my hat too much. I'm That's all right. Stop. Um, all right. I'm dropping a link. If you're if you're wanting to buy gold and silver, that's a company that I've used quite a bit. Uh, and I, I, I find them trustworthy. I've never had any problems. Very quick product they they get it to you you know there's a few others out there i've used others um and there's a couple of them they're they're pretty popular but the thing is is it takes their shipping was really a long time and this company um it's money metals and they they ship out really fast so anyways i'll, I'll put that out there for bradberg you. says he loves your shirt babe oh thank you yes that's from mm -hmm. american homestead uh yep. which is a, a super good friend of ours zach bauer um thank you steve wilson Appreciate Thank that. you, Go West. Uh, but I got a new hat. Oh, yes. Well, I haven't ever worn this one. So yeah. But um, Zach Bauer at an American Homestead. This is this is his his design, his T-shirt, and I like it. So 
um, you can get them from him. I think if you just go to an an a n an American Homestead uh, YouTube channel, I believe you can still get these shirts. Um, and Thank I, you, I get, I probably get more comments uh, on yeah. this shirt, even at wearing it out in public. Like if I stop at a gas station or something, it's <clears> if I'm wearing this shirt, it's almost guaranteed. That Look, if stupid hurt, fewer something. people I believe would be would be making you know right. foolish decisions. My friend and I always joke that Yeshua used the word dim. It's the same word. Yeah. <laughs> Are you dim? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, are you going to see the Homestead? Um, possibly. Um, the Homestead movie, they're, they're asking if we'd see? see it. Yeah, we possibly. Oh. Are you dim? That, that's Grafton <laughs> and Grace Creations Homestead. She's the friend I was talking about, <clears throat> yes. but I didn't want to, like, call her out. I not call her out, but, like, bring attention to it. But, yeah. <laughs> Someone's asking if I deleted the Jason Casper video. No, I didn't. Is it not showing up on? I'll have to check. Um. No, I didn't delete that at all. I, I usually, I don't, I don't really delete any videos. Um, and I wasn't, I haven't noticed that. But yes, Jason Casper, I did a, a video with him. Oh, it's been probably close to a year ago now. And I, I don't know. I haven't checked on that one in a while, but I haven't deleted it. So if it's, if it's not up, then that must be YouTube. It seems like you'd remember deleting that one. Yeah. Because you just, you still tell people to go check it out. Yeah. And YouTube is, that's one of the things that they've been doing for a while now, <laughs> uh, at least for me. And I've. <laughs> I stand behind Yeshua calling Peter Dim. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, I've, I've heard of other YouTube channels, uh, this happening too, where they go back and they remove old content or they demonetize sometimes old they do and you don't know it right, right. yeah they like do, you don't they get always... a strike but they'll just remove yeah you it. don't get a strike they just they just demonetize it or sometimes even remove it kind of quietly mm -hmm. and then occasionally you get a strike the, the last two strikes that i've had uh were on was on content that was well over a year old. in fact one of the videos was three years old I, I got a strike and a week suspension from a video that I had posted like three years ago. And that was ago. in 2023. So you can world? imagine the year that that yeah. was. That was 2020. Yeah, so. it's, it's just absurd uh, what they do. And it's going to get worse, folks. Sorry. I, I hate to tell you, but it's it's going to get worse. Um, uh, speaking of that, uh, we'll go or we'll go into some of the stuff going on. I've, I've got some random uh, news that's that's taking place and i'll you know i'll randomly talk about it and if if you guys seem to have interest in it you can comment and if not we'll just move on to something else the big thing in the news today and i i suspect there's going to be a mixture of opinions on this with my audience but um and my phone is all of a sudden it's not working i i had it all sitting here hold on just a second. hi lisa so the, the news is... Somebody asked, don't you normally have the pew-pews on the wall behind you? I do. That's another YouTube thing. So I can make a YouTube video with guns in it, okay? And, and I, I make them, I still, you know, occasionally I, I'll be carrying... Whether it's the video's about a gun or not, if, it's, if there's a gun in it, that's fine. But you can't do a live stream. And I know that there are other channels that occasionally that do live streams... Way. Um, I, but I think some of it, it's just because they're big and they get away with it. But if you do a live stream with a gun in it so that it's live, that's a no, no. So yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. No, my, my, I'm not getting any internet on my phone. No service. There we go. All right. So the first big thing in the news that many of you may have already heard about, uh, our illustrious leader, um, um, Joe Biden, he, uh, in between eating ice cream and, 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 you know, changing Not his, a word I'd ever thought I'd hear yeah, in the same <laughs> Changing his diaper. He issued a, an executive order or a proclamation today. I'm going to read this. Hi, Grandma Ginger. Um, this is this this is the exact language. I now, therefore, I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim tomorrow, 
March 31st, 2024, as Transgender Day of Visibility. I call upon all Americans to join us in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender people throughout our nation and to work towards eliminating violence and discrimination based on gender identity. So tomorrow thank is you, also... Thank you, Oh, thank you, Joshua. I'm happy to be back. Um, <laughs> tomorrow is also Easter, and many of you uh, will be uh, celebrating Easter. And many people, uh, both Catholics and Protestants, consider Easter a very holy day, possibly the holiest day in, um, in Christianity. Uh, Catholic between Catholicism and, and Protestants um, and, and all the different denominations, all the different denominations. I don't know that there's any day that's considered more special than Easter. And Joe Biden has declared it as transgender day. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that, doesn't that make you feel great? Uh, he also uh, issued a memo in the White House. Now, if you're familiar, the White House, they'll do an Easter egg hut on Easter in the White House lawn, and they have banned any religious or Christian-themed uh, Easter egg art. They do a contest so children can bring you know Easter egg art. And so, um, yeah, they've banned any kind of Christian or religious-themed art on Easter at the White House. How do you folks feel about that? I think most people are just. Hi, you know, Crystal. I haven't. Saying I mean, hi to you. I did come on a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> and then we had our meeting. And so anytime we have our meeting, yeah. we don't do a live because it's just we're not usually home in time. Yeah. But um, it's been a couple of weeks, and even when I did it, then I think that <clears> it, it, you didn't announce it, and it yeah. was just sort of like hi, kind of like today. So um, this might be some people's first time yep. seeing me back. <laughs> I real fast because you're going to sure go ahead. So I still have hives and they're still um, sometimes bad, but other times um, better than others. I have a, like right now I have a few, but they're nothing debilitating and I don't feel drained. And I, I feel like I can get up and do the thing. Um, but most of the time it's that way. So they're becoming more manageable and under control. And um, that's where we are with that. That's all. Yep. I'm I'm not a hundred percent, but doing better. And I really appreciate the warm welcome. Thank you, Andrew. My wife and I are visiting. Awesome. That would be good. Um, our April meeting is yeah. The I'd get out of Illinois too. Twenty first. Andrew so. was saying something about the meeting. Since you brought it up, uh, yes, the twenty first of April. So normally we do it on the fourth Sunday of every month. But in April, it's different. So it's going to be on the third Sunday mm -hmm. of every month, April 21st. So going back to uh, tomorrow being Easter. Thank and you, and I, I will get to it that some of you believe like us. We celebrate Passover, not Easter. I get it. But um, also, uh, New York, the governor of New York has declared that tomorrow that uh, flying the transgender flag, they're going to light up buildings in New York with transgender no colors. Of uh, of, you can have no mention of, of of any kind of Christian themes. You no know. religious speak. No, religious, no scripture. Yeah. So um, now I get it. You know, we 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 do Passover, um, but for those of us, I, this message is oh, this Hi, this little, little this little sliver of of the message tonight is just for those of us that do Passover, not Easter. I get it, but they're not canceling. Christian Easter for the same reasons that we think about it. Um, this is still an attack. Um, yes, I get it. The eggs, the, the pagan perspective. I get all that. I get that. But um, there, this is still trying to, to I think to that there's some misunderstanding. There's a lot of people like, uh, like somebody even said, what is your religion, your beliefs? Uh, well, we're Torah observant. Yeah, we, we keep the Torah. Yeah. Um, we believe that Yeshua is the son and that's I, we, I don't know. We like, just don't, we believe in the whole Bible. We follow the whole Bible. Whole yeah, Bible yeah, believing we, we still, folks, but that's not the point. Yeah, I think that's the, not point the point today <laughs> is I, we have a lot of people that are Torah observant that follow us, and yes. that's totally normal for us. Uh, actually, we were talking to our realtor friend mm -hmm. who's interested now, but um, <clears throat> the point that you're trying to make is that for many people who do not, um 
who still keep the Torah the, the is the Christian... first five books of the Bible: yeah. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. It's referred to as the Torah, which is also Just the instruction law, or the instruction. The root word is target, like where where your goal is mm -hmm. supposed to be. So. Yara, I think is what it is. Mm -hmm. But um, <clears throat> the point is that for many, many people, it is a very spiritual day. And we it's understand. It's a slap in the face to Christianity. We understand that. Like, yeah. we don't we don't keep Easter but or or follow it. But um, but for people who still do, that's a big, big, right. big deal. And um, and, and it has nothing for us. It feels very intentional. We, we separate mm -hmm. the the modern Easter and, and resurrection. You know, we see we see it different. But we, that's not what we're trying to get into. The point is, is that that the the Biden administration, the far left, the globalists, they they are. It, it's an all out attack on on Christianity. I mean, that's that's just what it is. Um, it, you, I don't see how you can get any way around this. Like. You know, someone said in here that they've the transgender day has been on March 21st and Easter just happens to fall on that. They didn't have to bring it out. They didn't have to make this public proclamation. They didn't have to say that, hey, uh, no religious themed items, uh, uh, egg art at the at the Easter egg hunt of the White House. They didn't have to you know light up all the buildings in the transgender, you know, colors or whatever. They didn't have to do that. Yes, yeah, Sawson says I don't do Easter still. It's disrespectful on purpose. That's exact. That's the point that's that the we're point. trying to make. Not this so isn't the, about like what yeah, we believe. It's not and about what our beliefs, and... your beliefs. You know, I mean, there's there obviously there's there's people that are that aren't Christian. Uh, maybe they're Jewish. Maybe they're other beliefs. But even the ones that that aren't Christian that see this, I've seen people online today. You know, they're like, oh, I, I'm I'm not a Christian, but this is still wrong. You know, this is still this is still a slap in the face to Christianity. You know, you're taking the Christianity's most holiest day and you're focusing on transgenderism, you know, and telling people that they can't bring re religious themed art. So even even a lot of I've seen a lot of like non-Christians say that. So so th that is happening today or tomorrow. Exactly. So Frontier Prepper says the timing was disrespectful. Yes. And that's really what we're trying to talk about. We're not here to debate like. You know, oh, Silver it, Fox said saw me on Caravan to Midnight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so put put remember this part the, the 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 whole Easter thing and transgender, and we'll come back to that here in just a minute. There was a few other things. Uh, there was another bridge that was hit today. Oh, yeah. uh, it did not collapse. I, I didn't see. Didn't it. collapse. Um, it's in. It's on the Arkansas River in Oklahoma, and it was a barge. And the barge broke loose and several of them crashed into one of the pylons of this bridge. Um, I cannot remember. Uh, I thought I saved it, but apparently I didn't. But the bridge is still standing. They shut the bridge down for a while. Um, yes, as believers in Christ, we must come together. The devil is using all the hate. I, I absolutely 100% believe, agree with what Josh Ryman just said. Um, so that happened today. It's almost like that, you know, we did the train thing for the last year or two, you know, all the train derailments. Uh, now, it, is it going to be ships hitting bridges? I, I don't know. Um, another thing that could just be one of them coincidences or an accident, but um, a company up in Iowa uh, had a, I think it was anhydrous ammonia, or I can't remember the exact chemical, but 700, almost 800,000 uh, fish have died, uh, and it leaked into the uh, Red Oak River, or to the river in Red Oak, and it's uh, polluting um, the rivers in northern Iowa, or southern Iowa and northern Missouri. That's just something I saw on the news, thought that throw that. ISIS spokesperson, the spokesperson for ISIS have called on um, all lone wolf supporters of ISIS to uh, jihad. <laughs> It's a live stream. I'm not supposed to say these words, and that just irritates them. But um, any Christians and Jews, because it's Ramadan. So go, go after them, they said. Um, let's see if there was anything else I had saved in my little thing here. Somebody says, who's the young lady sitting next to you? Is that your daughter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my granddaughter over here. <laughs> Um, Boston says that it is overrun by illegal immigrants and they plan to start placing the illegals into veterans housing because they have no place else to put them. Um, someone just a Frank family homestead. You said the ads. That's a new thing with with YouTube on the live streams. At least I've never seen that. 
So it's it's now requiring me to run ads midstream and live stream. Turn that off. No, I tried. You've always been able to turn it yeah, off. Yeah, I've always been able to run ads because you, you they they have to do it. They you know, and so you can run it either at the beginning or the end or in the middle or all. And so I've always chosen to do it at the beginning and the end of the video, but not in the middle because it disrupts you watching the video. But I noticed this time I got on there and it would not let me. It says that you're required to choose. Uh, it and says that it's restarting the whole live stream. Really? Kentucky Ready says that. I don't understand what that is. And on um, when I went to click on it, it did allow me to choose how often the ads show. And I chose the very least amount. Um, but it would not let me turn that off. So, um, and Jammer says that they're seeing he's he or she's seeing more double ads. On so YouTube. yeah, I man, Frank Family Homestead says it's starting over for them too. And little bitty drunk monkey. And, and that I don't know if it's a glitch in YouTube or if it's something new that they they said yeah if you have YouTube Premium which you have to pay for that you don't get the ads but. I don't know if this was like something new or if there's some kind of glitch or something, but when I was setting this up tonight, it would not let me turn that off. It, it said, it even said, you, you know, you are required to choose, you know, one of these mid roll ads, which means right in the middle of the live stream. And I've never, I've never done that. Um, yeah. Google needs more money. They're, they're poor. So um, <laughs> I apologize for that. Uh, I will, if it's something that I've made a mistake, I'll try to fix that. Uh, but yeah, that's that seemed to be something either new or a glitch or something. Anyway, so back to this. Boston says that they're overrun by illegal immigrants and they're going to start sticking them in veterans housing. So that that's that's exciting, isn't it? Uh, Timothy let's McGee see. says that he enjoyed <clears throat> seeing your appearance on Caravan to Midnight with John B. Wells. Oh, thank you. I enjoyed being over there. That was a really fun interview. Um, I like it. Uh, let's see. Another another accident with a Boeing uh, 787 with United Airlines. Uh, this one may not have been their fault. It, they're saying that they hit severe turbulence and a bunch of passengers was in, injured. Um, and then there's talk of a commercial real estate meltdown. We have tried StreamYard, but we are. Can you tell everybody again why we're on this this wonky? I, I, yes, setup? I'm doing this laptop because my my computer fried <laughs> and i've i have i've got one more part to to purchase for it to to the, the desktop that has all that on it so uh this is just a little bitty laptop so once i get that that done we'll go back to doing the live streams how we used to it gets us little, cooking at least yeah with here. the with the little intro and the better camera and the better audio um so i i need a um just the the power the power unit um power supply uh, for it. So I've got to get that. And then I think, I think we're ready. I'm not really even sure what happened. It just, it was working great. And then I went to turn it on and it just, it was done. So, uh, it, it was a more of a hardware than a software issue. So anyways, that's kind of a rundown, uh, on what's going on. And I, somebody says, Riversoft says it's not starting over for them. He or her, um, but no ads, but using AdGuard on Firefox. Yeah, maybe so they're maybe using that. an ad blocker. Um, anyways, uh, I did want to talk about this for just a minute. And if no one is interested in it, then we'll move on. But it goes back to the, the Joe Biden Easter, no Christian stuff on, on Easter. Um, there is a theory, and it's been going around for a while. Uh, for years with all of this stuff that we're seeing and I am prescribing or ascribing or buying into this a little bit more. I'm not a hundred percent there yet, but basically it is that what we're seeing is this big pendulum swing to the left, rapid, violently, forcefully rapid to the point that it's the stuff that we're seeing Iron survival is in the house. Boy, well, I'm going to pause for just a moment. Uh, if you folks are wanting to do like tactical combat defense training and you want to either do it in person if you live in the Ozarks or you don't live in the Ozarks and you want to do it at least online, go to ironsurvival.com. Um, and, and I'm telling you, they 
he has like an online course. I mean, you can do in-person training, which is obviously better, but they also do like an online courses for different types of home defense, property defense, uh, very, very reasonably priced. I mean, you're not going to find it really any cheaper. I, I think you should charge a lot more for it myself, but it's a full actual course. It's not just like YouTube videos you're watching. You get actual curriculum. So ironsurvival.com um, is 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 where you should go. Anyway, so going back to my my talk Will about you this say theory. This out loud real fast? Oh, uh, our our Somebody email. Asked if we had an email. Our email is preparedhomestead at protonmail.com. That's preparedhomestead at protonmail.com. So, anyways, so the theory is is that we're watching this this pendulum swing to the left at a at a speed and at a at an intensity that is just. I think even a lot of us were like, are they really pushing this, you know, children and trans stuff and sex changes? And, you know, it, it's it, the, the stuff that we're seeing. It's 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 building a momentum uh, at, at, a, at a way that in a way that I, I don't know that most people even really expected it. And so the theory is, is that their big plan is to push things so far to the left that there is this rapid and very probably violent pendulum swing back to the very far, far hard right. And to give you an example of that, and I talked about this in a video, I think a week ago, um, is, uh, yeah, don't let your daughters join Planet Fitness, exactly, uh, is, is Germany. You go back and do it. Sometimes it's a little hard to find because they try to hide the, the truth, you know, with a lot of things. But um, Germany, the Weimar Republic, before Hitler came into power, all that kind of you, you know that history fairly well, or at least you probably think you do. But um, the the Weimar Republic that was in charge of, you know, ruling Germany was probably by far the most well it was at that time it was the most liberal government that existed at that time and it probably still to this day challenges the far left liberalism of america and maybe even canada and so all of this horrible stuff that we're seeing happen in our country that we think you know well, where did this this is all new like there no humanity's never seen this before actually humanity has seen all of this stuff before and they saw it saw it in germany um, you know, transgender, uh, surgical sex changes, uh, you know, prostitution of, of minors, uh, you know, the, the pornography to a level that probably humanity had never seen, uh, just lascivious, disgusting behavior, that, that morality was completely thrown out, traditions, everything was thrown out the window. And and then that really was what kind of paved the way for the rise of the, the National Socialist Party, which is Nazis, uh, Hitler and everything, because they came in and they're like, oh, this is bad. You know, we need to swing this other way. And everyone accepted it, at least at first, because they thought, well, we're getting rid of this this horrible, you know, godless liberalism. We'll, we'll go back to this traditional stuff. And um, and of course, you know, we we know for the most part the the, the story there. So it's possible that we're starting to see that here, that we're seeing that the pendulum just be pushed forcefully to the far, far left, only for it to intentionally go the other direction and, you know, see this this explosion, this internal explosion in the country, because that's what's going to happen. You know, if if if, there, if we abruptly went to the far, far right the far left that's gotten used to being in their place of power in the last three years. It's it, that's, that's where your civil war is going to happen. That's where it's going to fall apart. So just, it's just a theory. Right here. I wanted you okay. to read that. I don't know how to do scroll this. So oh, you'll have to, a, <clears throat> you'll need to whoop, go whoop, a little whoop. too See, far there. Way <laughs> too far. I got too too scroll happy there. All right. My wife just told me you are live. We're moving to outside Poplar Bluff. On April 5th, you're a big inspiration. Well, well, congratulations, Poplar Bluff. That's not, I mean, that's not terribly far from us. It's in the state. It's it's in the, it's the in region. The state. It's in the region. <laughs> so I've I've been there. It's in the Ozarks. In, yeah, I've been there. Okay, Mr. No, Computer. Won't go back there we down. go. Uh yeah, the, the, uh, said that Mo TBR says I had a sheriff tell me once that. 
uh, they're doing this to swing the pendulum to agitate the masses. Yeah, I, I think that um, that probably. Um, it is close to the New Madrid, but there's a whole. It is. I, I don't want to go into great detail. Well, maybe I should. I don't know. Um, because there's there's a lot of talk about the New Madrid here lately with the um, the uh, eclipse. Sorry, my mind went blank for a second. Uh, the eclipse on April 8th. I talked about this the other day. Actually, no, I talked about this on Locals. So I don't think anyone on YouTube got it, or other, unless they're on Locals. But anyways, for those that you haven't been following, there was yeah, a, I was like, we just there had was this a, conversation. There was a solar, it was, it was it was a solar eclipse back in 2017, and it followed the path of going from uh, the northwest to the southeast. And so now this one is going to take the path of the southwest to the northeast, basically making a big X across the United States, where those two points where it meets, it's right over the New Madrid fault line, it's the boot heel of Missouri. So the person um, that said that, that you're talking mm -hmm. to, um, it restarted. Oh, Silver man. Fox, so. I'm sorry about that, Silver Fox. I, there's There's got to be a YouTube glitch. This has never happened before, and uh, it's it's got to be um, some kind of weird thing going on tonight. I'm sorry for those of you that it keeps starting over. There, I I cannot control it. A lot of people just started over. It's really weird. There must be some weird YouTube thing going on. Anyways, so it created. We'll get it fixed so soon. it creates an. It's going to create an X. The the path. The path of the the, the eclipse. This time the eclipse in 2017. It followed that same exact path back in 1811, 1812, something like that. In that time period, and that's and and then three months after the second eclipse, causing that X, which. The, the two points that it crosses, I mean, get this right, the two points that the X crossed uh, was over the New Madrid fault line, southern, south, southeastern Missouri, uh, about three months after that second eclipse went through, that's when the big New Madrid fault, uh, New Madrid earthquake happened. So there's a lot of theories out there that, so this earth, this, I keep saying earthquake, this eclipse that's getting ready to happen on April 8th. The big which, X yeah, solar eclipse. That we could see a New Madrid earthquake happen that three months, too. three months from approximately from when the eclipse happens. And then, yeah, someone says that CERN, CERN Two is firing up. Talking about CERN that. is firing up their, their Hadrian and Collider. NASA, don't forget, NASA is going to fire some rockets. NASA is sending three rockets. The They're sending, shooting three rockets at the eclipse. So going back to the person that lives in Poplar Bluff. And anyone else that lives over there, because that's that you're living, you're much closer um, to the New Madrid than we are. You're living between about probably about halfway between us and the New Madrid is where you're living. Um, Poplar Bluff. Yeah, Poplar but Bluff. They're it's not there it's yet. A, it's a town. In, it's a town in the in the in the in southern Missouri. So for those of you that don't but, know what we're talking about, but the, here's the thing. This yeah. is the point. I said all of this. I know I'm a hillbilly from the Ozarks. We we go around the barn a few times just to get to the front door. So just stick with me. <clears throat> Based on historical documents from when the earthquake happened in the New Madrid over 100 years ago and a big geological study that the state of Missouri did a few years ago, which you can go look it up and it, they have a whole bunch of in, information that you can find. And I read the whole document a few years ago. Um, when the earthquake happens at the New Madrid, whenever that happens, Based on the geology, it's a different type of earthquake than, say, the San Andreas. It's not just two plates doing this. It's it's a it's a plate and then a plate, kind of like this. So this side, the big elevated side, is a is a big rock plateau, which is called the Ozarks. It's the Ozark Plateau, and then the other side is the eastern side, which goes towards you know Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, all that kind of stuff the vast majority of the energy from that earthquake is going to go eastward and the energy coming westward, which is towards us, is much diminished because of that big plateau of rock. I mean, the, the Ozarks, if you look at it on a, on a, a, you know, a map that shows terrain and everything, the Ozarks is just a big chunk of rock that sets up out of the rest of this whole Midwestern region. 
Uh, we call it the mountains, but it's actually just a massive plateau, which is just a big elevated piece of rock that has some peaks on it that looks like mountains. Um, and my line of sight to the to the no, we're 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 a few hours uh, west of the the New Madrid. Um, so, anyways, where I'm located, they estimate that we would feel the earthquake at somewhere between a three and a four on the Richter scale, uh, which is, is totally acceptable. Uh, and that every bit of data that exists from the previous time and all of the studies. So I, I'm not saying don't worry about it. I'm just saying that if you live west of the New Madrid fault line, you're way, way better off. I, I mean, I certainly wouldn't, wouldn't want to live close to it, Somebody, but I'm saying I'm if sorry. you... Some of the, com the commercials some of the are, in com are in Spanish. What in the world? That's because whatever your algorithm is, it yeah. thinks you're Spanish speaking for some reason. I'm we've had I'm, we've had ads before. I, like remember in I think it was 2020. Yeah, the only Spanish I know is like taco and burrito and enchiladas and nachos and. But I know a lot more. She can speak a little bit. I can't. I can't do anything. So, anyways, back to the earthquake. Um, the point is, is that if you live east of the New Madrid fault line within you know, so many, you know, 100, 200 miles, it could be very devastating for you. If you live west of the New Madrid fault line uh, and you get out at least, you know, 60 to 100 miles, it, it's probably not going to be too devastating. I mean, it could, it's it's not going to, but the point is, is what the, the real devastation with the New Madrid isn't necessarily, you know, your house falling over. Uh, it's, um, it's that there's so much that happens on the Mississippi River that it will disrupt. You know, there's there's electric lines and gas lines and oil pipes and everything that run across it. There's the Mississippi River is the the most major water thoroughfare and and. Uh, but it was felt up in Pennsylvania. That's true. Right. It was east felt up in here. yeah because yeah. that's east. Mm -hmm. um, there's all kinds of maps that the, the Department I mean, of even, Natural Resources like, made the Mississippi videos. go back the other right. way. Right. But it, the the way that earthquake, way that fault line, it's a different kind. I don't know the the details of the geology, but if you look it up, they it's called it's different. It's a different type of fault line than what most people are used to when it comes to earthquakes, and so the vast majority of the energy only goes out one direction, and that's eastward. So for those of you people that live, and I'm just making guesses based on my research, you know, at least two to 300 miles, you know, so if the fault line, let's say it's it's not exactly north-south, but, you know, the fault line here, if you live, you know, in a half circle, you know, two to 300 miles out, uh, yeah, I'd be a little concerned. I'd be a little concerned, but here's the thing, even if you do or you don't, or, you know, maybe, maybe your house makes it, you know, maybe where you're at, you feel a six or seven, but your house still standing, there's a little bit of damage. You're like, oh, well, you know, the damage is there, but it's not devastating. That's not the point. The point is, is that the Mississippi River is massive. Um, and a lot of goods go up and down that river. A lot of electrical lines, pipelines, gas lines, all that cross that river that could easily be disrupted, broken. Uh, nuclear power plants. Wasn't it called the Carrington event before? No, and, no, the Carrington. Was, oh, wait, that no, was that the, was the... That uh, was the uh, CME. That's right. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but there was one that, that happened. And, uh, like, there weren't yeah, the very many... Yeah, there weren't very many... Um, oh, it caused power lines and stuff right at the time. but it, so, caused, it caused church bells to ring in in uh, out east they they say that there are people that there's records that they could feel it all the way in england the earth the new madrid earthquake that they could feel it in england yeah guys um that's crazy so it, it's it's, it's 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 massive but the, it's it's not just the the earth now there are theories that it could cause the Mississippi River to that area to split open, cause the ocean to flow in. Those are all possibilities, or at least theories. But I, I think the biggest thing is just the massive level of disruption for <clears throat> the whole country, because that that river is so you know central to so much trade and movement of of goods and stuff that it would be just absolutely devastating. And then I, someone said, I saw someone on here said something about nuclear power plants. That's the other thing. Um, I don't remember because I don't have it in front of me and it's been a while since I've checked. But there are several nuclear power plants east 
of uh, which, because most of your nuclear power plants in this country are east of the Mississippi. And there's several within definitely a, a damage area. So what if a nuclear power plant goes off? What if, what if there's some kind of meltdown or something? Now, kind of wrapping this up. No, I'm not somebody saying. Somebody said, are you, do you, are you saying this will happen with the eclipse? Right. We so don't... It's, that's why I'm trying to. I'm not saying that this will happen with the eclipse. Um, personally, this is just my personal opinion. We actually differ on this one. So we're, we're, we're not in unison necessarily with this. Let me, let me move this just a little bit. Um, I think from a natural perspective that there's nothing that's probably going to happen on the day of the eclipse other than an eclipse. I could easily see where the government uses it to stage some kind of false flag, some type of cyber attack to, um, you know, the grid or the, the, the communication, cell phones, that kind of stuff. But or the, like terror. Or so yeah, or something. yeah. Something I could but, see something, but, but I don't think anything in, crazy is supposed to happen. I think maybe months from now. It, right. Yeah. So here's the thing where, why we're talking about the earthquake, unless in case you missed something, the last time that there was an eclipse, that we had an eclipse that they made a, that X pattern where there was one and then a few years later, another one was back in the early 1800s, I think 1810, 1812 in that area. Um, and three months after that second eclipse, which is the same exact path that this eclipse on April 8th is going to take. Three months after that eclipse back in 1812, I think, uh, was when the, the big, massive New Madrid earthquake happened. So is it possible that the two eclipses going over that, that area causes some kind of natural thing to happen that causes a, the, the, the earthquake to go off? Is it just a coincidence? Is there some kind of biblical spiritual thing that, that we're just you know not quite tuned into that's causing it? I don't know. It may be nothing. I'm just letting you know that for the last few years, there's been a lot of people thinking that the New Madrid is getting close to going again. And then now these two eclipses that's happened since 2017 and this one, and it's for 20 exactly years. the same as the one that caused that that happened just before the New Madrid. It's something to think about. I don't know. Just I, I, just throwing out. For 20 years, though, people have been talking also about the caldera. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's so the caldera. So it's my opinion that if if one goes, the other will. If one goes, the other will. And I don't think it's just the caldera in Wyoming. It's the whole ring of fire. Yeah, right? so now, it's there, there are event. theories yeah. on the Yellowstone that it may never, ever go I've again. I've seen that recently. Because, too. again, those are it different moved. types the of thing... plates. So those are, find my camera it's two plates going over the top of each other and that they've moved far enough away from each other now that it, it's Oh yeah. Don't forget the comment that, that it diminishes, dim yeah, that diminishes the potential of the, the Yellowstone caldera ever erupting again. I don't know. I'm not saying that I believe that that's another, I just like to throw out different theories yeah. so that you get a so more John full says, picture. And then yes, there is a comment plus comment plus yeah. turn, but don't forget the NASA rockets. Okay? Yeah. The NASA rockets. There's a lot of stuff. And I think that the ceasefire ends that day too. The ordered ceasefire. I don't know. Uh, and then, and then right after that, or right around that time, is when they're they're supposed to uh, sacrifice the red heifer that that gets the process started for building the third temple. Lots of fun stuff coming up, folks. Yay! Are you ready for it? And Travis, says, let, let your, your daughter... daughter talk once in a while. <laughs> Do I look like your daughter tonight? I don't know. <laughs> That'd be so, weird. If I liked it that young. Escape from New York. Yeah, the, the 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 big thing is just don't ever be there. Get out of it. Should never be there in the first place. But um, yeah, so it it there's that's that's the thing. There's a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, the devil comment. That that's yeah, the, the devil comment. Um somebody says that uh Pray for Maui. They're still locked up in Lahaina. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's 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 a lot of the wormwood. Someone's calling mm -hmm. it wormwood. Or uh, planet the, the, X. Yeah, the point is, is that I, I'm not saying that all these things are significant. I'm not saying all these things will happen. 
but it's an election year and there's a lot of stuff going on and a lot of it's starting to look a little crazy. And I, I don't want to go down this path too much tonight because it's a very long, long path. But, uh, you know, I mentioned the, the sacrificing of the red heifers. And if you... It's time to check and update your, your end times bingo, bingo card. card. Yeah. So bingo if, you, if, you, if you look at the potential <laughs> path here of the... The, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you, you're going to have to kind of catch up, I guess, at some point. But, you know, Israel uh, has these red heifers, these perfect ones. It is it is in the Bible. You look it up in Numbers, New Deuteronomy, and it talks about how, you know, to to purify the temple, to purify the, the, the implements and the people so that they can start building the tabernacle or the temple. They have to find a spotless and pure red heifer, sacrifice it, use the ashes, all that kind of stuff. Well, they say they have it. They say they're getting ready to do, to do the sacrifice, possibly in and around Passover. Okay. If that happens, then they start potentially building the temple. Now, of course, there's a there's a mosque where the temple's supposed to be built. So who knows how that's going to end up? That could be the greatest war humanity's ever seen if, if something happens that that mosque gets attacked. Um, riot and then there's riot season coming up. Someone mentions that. But um, if you if you look at timelines. Of all this stuff, you look at the timelines of like the agenda 2030, the Great Reset, uh, everything. We're we're getting really close to where we could be in kind of a three and a half year timeline. And for those of you that are up to date on on biblical end time kind of prophecies, three and a half years is is pretty significant. And you know, if you look at looking out, we could be getting close to the to the start of that clock of the three and a half years it um, does seem like so, they write yeah. the script yeah kimmy or kimmy says it seems like they wrote the script yes exactly so um it it's 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 great yeah the mo tbr said yeah that pesky mosque there was, i was watching um Everyone likes my hat. Thank you all very much. I'm, I I it's new ish to y'all, but like a, it's a nice winter hat. And somebody said it's like it's a cool, biker. Yeah, yeah, it's like an old biker's hat. From but like it the does 40s. look like. But I don't look like a biker. Oh. So somebody we'll asked to, if we'll you had a Harley. To... Somebody asked. Uh, there is a Harley sitting right outside the the this building here. So. Not not one that we were use. No, but... it's a friend's Harley. <laughs> um, but it's it's sitting there. Does your dog keep barking? Is everything okay? We have a dog that likes to bark at everything. This dog likes to bark all the time. <laughs> um, the dog is fine. The dog is totally fine. It'll do this for a yeah, yeah, good few hours, and then finally it'll shut up. But So, yeah, there is a dog barking. Um, that was a nice hat. Thanks. The, the mosque, I, I watched a... And I can't remember where it was. It's It's been a, a week or two ago, and it was a... Some interviewer, they asked one of these uh, Muslim imams from somewhere in the Middle East um, kind of about this subject. And they said, you know, well, what would happen if if Israel did something and the mosque was destroyed or they took over the mound and destroyed the mosque? And he's basically he said um, it'd be the greatest war that that humanity's ever seen. He said it'd be a bloodbath. The whole world, he said they they would they would just light basically the world on fire is what he was saying. Um I mean, yeah, I don't know. Think about it. You know, something like that happens, causing global wars, uh, just in time for the temple to get built so that the false peace can come and sit in the temple and bring about false peace. I don't know. I know. I'm just, I'm just rambling. But it is to think about. It's his Harley. Yes, I keep telling her I'm going to go out there and fire that thing up and go right around on it. And I keep saying I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Sitting there. I mean. He didn't say I couldn't write it. He just asked me to hold on to it for a while. Well, have you seen the UFO over the mosque? I have that one on my card. My oh, yeah, card. The, the UFO over yeah. the mosque. Well, no, just the UFOs. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I do. It's on there. We should all make our own bingo yeah. cards and compare. I know. I mean, you know, and then and then if there's there are, there's times because I've talked about this in videos in the past. Um, I mean, I'm the type of person I I worry, especially now that I have this platform to talk to people that I don't want to I don't want to be the cause of people kind of getting chaotic and hectic and panicked, you know, because of things going on, because the reality is, is that 
it's so much of it's all a big psyop. Treats for the barking dogs. <laughs> he's a really good dog. He really is. He, he's a he's huge so, dog. He's a so sweetheart. Sweet. But that dog just loves to bark. He loves it. It's like he just enjoys barking. <laughs> um, anyways, so much of everything that's going on is a psyop. And and there has been things. And there's so much that's not. Like it's right, hard because it's like, like blending and bleeding. Right. And there's definitely been <laughs> things that's happened over the last three or four years. But there's also been stuff that you know, oh, this could be around the corner and then it doesn't pan out, right? And so how much of everything is just them like taking wet spaghetti and slinging it against the wall and just seeing what sticks with really the the intent of it just disrupting and causing chaos and, and getting everyone to be afraid of everything, to get, you know, just disrupting everything. I think that's a, also a big, big part of it. Is just, I mean, you know, the the whole Freemasonry um, motto, you know, order out of chaos. That that's really what we're, I think, we're seeing a lot of, and that's why I don't want people to constantly be afraid. I don't want you sticking your heads in the ground. I don't want you to be living in this panic state. But yet, I also don't want you to just ignore it and go about your business. We we need to be actively preparing i've thought this too that, that that there would be a time for like that that perhaps and potentially the time for sharing the space might come along something's messed up with this computer i can't scroll up there we go look at that it's gonna uh, let you write 100 100 and hearts and yeah smiley it's letting faces. me it's letting me heart my own thing but i can't Anyways, I, it's, something's messed up. But that there, it could potentially be that the mosque and a new temple would would share space. That's how that's and always I, possible. Yeah. I I've thought about that, and then also I never forget that there's that other temple that's like all of the religions. Yeah, that's the one that's world over in, religion um, type feeling one. Where's that? Is that over in the United Arab Emirates or yeah, something yeah, where they I built this so. big temple complex with? Christian Jews and Muslims or something like that. Um, and then there's also this theory that that maybe the temple was actually in a different location and maybe they'll figure that out and they'll build a temple there. And say I'm it's glad good. you subscribed and I, I don't Farm know. 35. Good I don't night. Know. <laughs> I got to uh, go, but I just subscribed. Thank all right. You. Thank you for subscribing. The slinging of spaghetti did cause people that weren't getting into preparedness to get into preparedness. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was a blessing. Also, a more awareness about what's actually going on. Yeah. There's that. But then you got a question, like, why would they want people to know more? Yeah, Euphrates <laughs> River's drying up. Yeah, there's all these things. And so I guess that kind of... But the... that's not the only thing. There's another one where the um, Dead Sea, where there's life again. And there's been yeah. life in that one, too. Yeah, there, so. there's, there's evidence of that coming back. Um, so basically, I think it's it's that... We have to be aware of this stuff. We should be. We should be paying attention to it. It should be used as a motivation. But we have to really kind of balance that tightrope of being aware of it, using it and allowing it to motivate us and to inform us, but yet not going over that to the other side of the rope, you know, falling the other way, where, um, you know, it, it, it causes us to be paranoid and it causes us to disrupt our, our life. You know, we're supposed to we're supposed to live a, a, a full life and be happy and, and all this kind of stuff, you know, as best as we can. I understand everyone has stumbling blocks in their life, but, you know, we're supposed to have a try to have a good, you know, fulfilled life and to bless others. And how are you going to do that when you're constantly in this panic and fear? So it, it is. This, well, also, this... you can't make sound choices. We talk about this right. a lot. Oh, One yeah. of the very, very most important things is practicing like how you're going to react under stress and under pressure. Because I believe that um, we make a lot more mistakes and we can't think clearly when we're not practiced making decisions. We're not practiced in making decisions under stress right. and duress. Like you were talking today like you were trained for that sort of thing and you know like when when there's um a crisis of any kind you you can see like yeah. what needs to be handled 
and you can like drown out the, the barking dogs and the crying children and all the things that are noise and, or stressful, you know, like your wife screaming at you. Oh, no, you know, this thing over here happened. So I think it's really important to like find your peace and like. I don't claim to be a prophet at all. I've said it many, many times. Don't don't listen to me. <laughs> Just do your own research. Go ahead. Uh, um, I just, uh, I just think it's really important because we've talked, remember like a couple years ago, we would talk about this a lot on the lines mm -hmm. where it, it's really important that not only do we have peace in like wherever we end up, it's where we're supposed to be, that there's only yeah. one person in control, one entity, right? And it's the one true God is in control. Right. There is. And so there's like, you have to be able to find that, that peace, the grounding and peace uh, um, before you can make, you know, sound decisions. And I think that all this clutter or banging gongs, right? Mm -hmm. all, like, look over here, look over there, this, 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 and it's a constant thing. And you talked about this again. I'm going to bring it up again. It's like every three days, there's another crisis. It's still like that. It's like mm -hmm. a constant barrage of trauma and major events. And then people not only are have short attention spans and can't remember what happened three months ago, like, let alone three years ago, how many people do you know that still talk about the stuff that was going on in 2020 that yeah. we should never forget? Well, they're telling you to forget about it. Right. You know, that, that's what but they, like, officially they're saying. Forget grandmas about it. that died without, you know, parent, like w without their um, children alone. You weren't allowed to hug. You were like people that needed like men that couldn't enter birthing rooms with their wives. Like it was insane. It was just mm -hmm. really, really crazy. And they went you, like people forget. And this is part of it. Right. But not just that. If you're off kilter, then you can't see the bigger picture or what's really going on. So it's like really important to just back up and not no fear, no fear. I see a lot of people saying that in the chat, like yeah. not to be afraid, not to be overcome. Yeah. By fear. I think that's really important. It's it's all about balance. It's you know what we're saying is that you know, you can say, well, don't be overcome by it. Don't be overcome by fear. Don't be don't be caught up in it. But then on the other side, you don't want to be so, you know, complacent that you're just like, eh, it's it's nothing. It's just you want to pay attention. Of, yeah. So so mm -hmm. it's it is that fine line. Um you said keeping something people distracted and it made me think about uh, scripture verse. I don't know if I can find it really quick, so I may not be able to find it. Uh, the world is nuts, but I think that's by design. Yeah. Like, I think that, like, why, I don't know, why would, why would we care about what's going on, for instance, in yeah, England they, necessarily? And real quick, I just, like, the whole thing with this princess and everything, all yeah. this, this, like, like, that you can't avoid, like, like it's if you're on, if you're looking at news, if you're if you're just visiting with, you know, a friend, it's it's there. But but why do we care so much? Like, why would I just think that there's just like, look at this story, look at this story, look at this story, look at this story. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just think that there's a method behind some of it. But not that I don't care if something really has happened. I just mean, like. There's just stuff that's going on. that's like like inflation and yeah. <laughs> like real stuff that this was a we read this today. Uh, when we were doing our Bible study, uh, it's in John chapter 16, very last verse 33. This is, I think this pertains to a lot of what we're talking about. And this is Yeshua talking. This is Jesus in his own words. It says, these things I have spoken to you. And of course, prior to this in 15 and in 16, he's, he's basically telling you how the world's going to fall apart and how everyone's going to turn against us and all that. that so that's, that's the, the context of this. He says, these things I have spoken to you so that in me, meaning him, you may have peace, shalom, peace. In the world, you have tribulation, but take courage. I have overcome the world. And that, that's really how we have to look at it. We Yes, we should prepare, we should train, we should stock up, we should practice, we should become, you know, very good at skills, whether it's crocheting or growing tomatoes or, you know, whatever it is, or, you I know, tactical say, like, going prepare out. Prepare for the worst you know, and, and hope for the best. Yeah, Pray you know, for the you need to bit. go out and become proficient in a firearm, how to defend yourself, all these things. So like hunting, Daniel fishing, and yes. like Jacob and, or like... Uh, like uh sorry daniel 
and Joseph yes. and, and David before, you know, with Goliath and, and, and Moses and like, like when he had to cross over and like, that was crazy. Mm -hmm. How are we going to get out of here guys? Like, this is a, a calamity. This is awful. Right. And then Noah and then even Isaac, like with, with uh, Abraham, with Isaac, you know, like this, it's a, it's faith. Right. Yes. And we talked about that today. Like faith is, it's a verb. It's not just something that you say, you can't think it. It's if you know who is in control, then you can walk in, Courage, be bold, right? And mm -hmm. courageous, Joshua 1 9. It's very important that we not get caught up in all the craziness, right? Mm -hmm. The story. Remember that no matter what we're facing, there is one, right, that's in control. Right. And not to be too, I don't know, like it's hard, right? To to not worry when you're in the middle of something like sure. that. But even in death, we should know there's one that's in control, yes. right? <clears throat> Yeah, so so that's that's kind of the message we've always tried to get across is that yes, you should prepare. I mean, it's that you know you just talk. I mean, Noah is always mentioned as a as the prepper, the original prepper. You know, there's other references specifically to preparedness, but you Joseph, yes, Joseph stuff. But you mentioned David. You know, David went out and fought Goliath, right? But he had to prepare here. But he had first. to prepare here and physically, like he was training. He was out fighting bears and lions. He was he was developing that skill. You, do you think if he had never done that before, that he that would that he would that he would have walked up there and said? You know, you come with the sword and the shield, but I come with the in the name of the Lord. I've never done this before, but I no, he it, it was both a spiritual and a physical thing. And he like, had the spiritual mm -hmm. faith, but he also had physically done it before. He had killed lions and bears. So so it was it was both. And it's it's the same thing. But that there's we're also to like say. a spiritual preparedness. So like Daniel never was gonna hang out with lions and mm -hmm. then that was never a thing. He was right. never like, I'm gonna go practice. No, no, the practice was the faith. Right. It's it's I know the father. I mm -hmm. know even in death, I know where I'm going is where I'm supposed to be going. Right. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's we're not meant to to live in this paralyzed state of. Oh, no. What? Look over here. What do I do now? I don't know. I right. just think that. Yeah, we can't do that. So I, you know. All this stuff going on, it's bad. It, it's one of those no, things. No, it had. <laughs> Patriot supply. supply. You just, you just, you gotta, you just gotta have to suck it up. You know, I, I know that's coarse to say, but it's true. You just, you just gotta suck it up. You gotta suck up that 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 the world's falling apart. That it's becoming a a godless, immoral, you know, I am pointing to the forefathers, place. but this yeah. there's the theme went on with uh, the Brihadasha, the the New Testament, the yeah, New oh, Covenant. Absolutely. It 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 carried on like <clears throat> like. Do you think that, what do you think Yeshua was doing? <laughs> like he taught them. That's what he was doing. I'm preparing you. And then he says, I'm going to go and prepare a place for you. Right. Well, the vast, vast majority of the people in the New Testament were also Jews too. Just pointing that out. Someone says that the, the Old Testament, Old Testament was just, was just Jews, not Gentiles. Most of the people in the New Testament were Jews too. Um, but yeah, David took five stones because <laughs> goliath had brothers but but be aware but not overwhelmed and not overcome right because mm -hmm. evil is like it masquerades as light and so what am i can't remember I, I, I real fast remember today when we talked about this at, at our i can't remember i think i think it was the one friend um like i can't remember though who who talked about how or was it you did you bring it up that that mm -hmm. we that Oh, it was you that the people that were good that are thinking that is that what you just read? Sorry, mm -mm. The, the scripture that talked about the people who go against us. Oh, that, are going that's to in be, the same chapter, but it's yeah, that are going to be yeah. they're, they're going to yeah, think I'll, that they're I'll moving. read that because I've got it pulled up right here. So it's in John, it's chapter, interesting. Do that. John, chapter, my mouth is dry. John, chapter 16. Uh, let me see. They were maybe... Okay, it's John chapter 16, uh, verse 2. They will make you outcasts. Uh, let me just start with verse 1. It says, these things I've... Again, it's Yeshua. It's Jesus talking. These things I've spoken to you so that 
so that you may be kept from stumbling. This is to keep us from stumbling. They will make you outcasts from the synagogue, but an hour is coming for everyone who kills you to think that he is offering services to God. So in other words, it's people that believe that they're Christians. They believe that they're serving God. That's going to come after the, the real believers. That, that's that's my interpretation of that. Uh, someone on here asked about my thoughts on Enoch. I don't really know the content. I mean, yeah, Enoch lived. I've, I've read the read all of the, the books of Enoch, the, the, his writing. I've read all of that and I, I follow it. Um, I tend to believe that it's that I know that this is the minority view. And if you disagree with me, that's fine. Um, I believe that it's 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 part of the word because you know yeshua quotes it uh and then there's there's that part um where in enoch he's talking about the fir trees and he lists how many different fir trees and only in the last 100 150 years did we even know that that many varieties of fir trees existed but yeah i, I don't know what your your question i saw someone like in all caps and stuff my thoughts on enoch so I, I don't know exactly what the context was but so somebody's oh look you can just oh, do that did you, did you you figured it out mm -hmm. um somebody rick butler says it, it only took one and the giant lay dead mm -hmm. and then um samson filled with the holy spirit used a jawbone and i was going to mention though that like think about joshua and caleb like all the preparation that had to go in here and time spent with our father mm -hmm. like they they were going against giants right mm -hmm. they were two men and they came back they were the only two that were actually there in the beginning that got to cross over mm -hmm. and uh it means god is salvation and kalev actually when you translate it i know it's translated as dog but it mm -hmm. actually translates literally into whole heart yep so Nephilim, someone says, yes. Yeah, giants or uh, the, like Og, right? That's a. Yeah, Grandma Ginger that. says that Enoch is quoted and mentioned many times throughout the word. That is true. You're you're correct. Yeah, I I mean, I, I know it for whatever reason it's controversial. A lot of people, but I I own it. I read it. I've I've read not all of the. You know, thank you so much, I Brandy. I really that. appreciate that you think my hat looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> that's what Linda was saying on here that people were being mean in, in the comments. And I don't know, people, it's like they have nothing You're better to do. You're entitled to your opinion. Yeah. You can they make your own channel and go sit on there without your ridiculous hat. That's totally fine with us. Someone asked if I was in law enforcement. Not, not anymore. It's been a long, long, I've been out of law enforcement over a decade. Um, I'm currently i know there's so many people that's going to get tired of me saying this i'm currently a volunteer fireman i'm a ca volunteer captain on the the local volunteer fire department i, I usually have my wrap just so you know lady yeah. whoever you are and tonight i'm wearing a hat I just, keep let my him, head covered just let them troll because just let them troll i just, just ignore it i'm going to talk it. about why i cover uh, my head you don't have to who cares what they say oh it'd be funny though if 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 this really is a a, a yeah. That kind of person, the troll kind of, you know. Um, kind of, what what is it like, Donald Trump? They're they're, they're losers. <laughs> no, I don't think that. I just think that, <laughs> like, what's the purpose of saying something like that? Yeah, grand scheme says the uh, king of of Bashan was around twelve to fifteen foot tall, and his bed was huge. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and what's the scripture that talks about leaping from Bashan? There's that's the yeah I know I can't think of what it, someone asked how high I think silver will, will go or someone's just asking people um, I think silver could go really high I've seen people talk about it in the hundreds of dollars um, I guess it really all depends on how much the U.S. dollar could collapse like if the U.S. dollar goes to zero and it doesn't exist I mean there's probably no limit on what we would see gold and silver as it, it, but yeah, I think, I think silver has a lot more room to grow. Um, and I think it's, I think it's Stack being held. I, be, I think that silver is being held back probably way more than gold because, uh, I mean, they use silver a lot. I mean, I know they use gold a lot too, but I, I think silver is really being held back a lot. So, All I was going to say further mm -hmm. about that is that it's a good thing I don't 
do things because you or somebody else likes it or doesn't like it, right? Mm, yeah. I think that uh, tonight, there are, right uh, here, Yeah, there's I th what she's getting at. Some... There are people that kind of, for some reason, think that I control her in that way. Mm -hmm. Like, I dictate what she wears and how she wears it. I wear a, a head covering because I want to. Yeah, she'll I ask, just wanted I, to say she'll that. She'll ask like, my cause... opinion if I like something or not. But, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, no, I don't. I don't dictate what she wears and how she wears it. You know, we, we're very much in line when it comes to like modesty and all that kind of stuff. So I don't really worry about that with her. So, <laughs> but it's not, it's not even like, I don't even like, like, it's not even that. I just want to. Someone wants to know where you did get the hat though. I'm embarrassed like nice to person. say where, cause I don't like shopping there. It's um, like the Chinese call me place. Walmart. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it just, it came from Wally World. Some people just don't Pretty have simple. style. It's all right. I know. I went to Walmart and got my ridiculous <laughs> hat. How much time do I think the dollar has left? Well, I'll be you, honest with you. People have been asking you this for yeah. almost four years. I, I'll be honest with you. I say the same thing all the time. I'm surprised it's lasted this long. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they're just, they're they're waiting for the right moment to get the digital currency to the place they want it to be. That there's something. I mean, we could sit here and, and armchair quarterback all day long before. of what it is they're waiting. But I believe that the only reason the dollar still exists, at least in the way that it is, is because they're waiting for the right moment. And maybe we just haven't figured out exactly what that right moment is. And then when it happens, it's it's just going to be a, a total chaos. I mean, if you remember, was it a year ago or so? Uh, those those video of the FDIC board governors board of governors meeting and they were talking about how that they were you know they could just do a, a bank run and collapse over a weekend and that the dollar and the banks would collapse I mean they, there's been open talk about this even the Federal Reserve recently has been saying that the that the US dollar is in jeopardy because of the mounting debt and that it's unsustainable so I suspect they're just trying to milk everything they can out of it. And whatever it is, maybe the technology isn't quite at the level they want it to be. I don't know. But I'd say once it gets, once they get all their ducks in a row, then it's it, at that point, and maybe it's 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 happening as we speak, whatever, or, you know, weeks, months, years, then we're going to start seeing things, things go. Because I, I, I see people all the time saying, oh, the dollar's net, you know, even people on our side. Our side of the aisle, so to speak, you know, the conservative preppers. Oh, no, no. I had some guy send me an email the other day. He's like, they're never going to let the U.S. dollar collapse. It's not about it's not even about the dollar having value. It's about control. Why would they allow the U.S. dollar paper currency to continue to exist when they know they could switch us over at some point to a digital currency where they have absolute total control over us? Like, Digital currency, the digital dollar is like in game and they know that. And so it's it's crazy for me to think that they're doing all of this big brother globalist beast system and then they're not going to have a digital currency. Of course they are. They've been open about that. So it's all about waiting for that that right moment and like i said maybe there's technology they're still working on maybe it's they're all of their analysts are saying well you know the people have to get to you know we have to have polling to this number i don't know what it is but it it, it it seems to me that they're just they're waiting for it to hit the right moment and when it does there'll just probably be a cascading effect of events that will end up with the dollar collapsing and like I've said before many times in the video, it'll be like, oh, but don't worry. We understand the dollar's collapsing. If everyone just quickly switches over to this digital, just go to your local bank and and they'll just give you credit in digital currency for this dollar. And, you know, it'll be an overnight thing. You know, you'll go from one day having paper currency to the next day. Poof, you got digital and it, you're never going to know the difference because 99.9% .9 of the American people already use digital currency anymore anyways. Because it's their debit cards and and they buy things online. I mean, you know how much how much paper currency so is asked what your shirt. Oh, how yes. much paper currency is even used? It's 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 negligible anymore. You know, not too many people carry around paper currency much anymore. So there's it's not going to be that big of an upset for the average person, and that's what I think we're, we'll see. When I, I don't know, 
it, it, that's why we stay alert and we watch these things that's happening because it gives us a little kind of a view in, in, in through the, the window of, of time of trying to figure out, okay, you know, you can start to pick up patterns. You see this happening. You see this happening. We're not too much further now. Um, so anyways, that, that's kind of how I see it happen. Someone said I was right about how a little salt and coffee takes the bitterness out. Mm -hmm. She likes it. I don't. I love salt and coffee. I think it tastes great. I think she tries putting it in if my. If I have sometime, to go I'm without like, any oh, sweetener, what'd you do to my coffee? I <laughs> put salt in it. Ah! But I salt your water, and I salt your coffee, and I salt sparkling water, and I salt I salt all your. All your drinks. Yes, yes. But yeah, she'll put it in my... Butter and coffee isn't too bad. I don't like... A, and I love butter. I believe you should put butter on everything. I like but butter I like, blended. I don't like too much butter. But I like it yeah, blended like so it doesn't... Bit. You know, because it'll sit at the top. Yeah. But if you blend it in the blender, like an but immersion yeah, blender... Yeah, she'll, she'll try to sneak salt in my coffee. And I'm like, oh, oh, what in the world? It's just me. I like butter, but I, I haven't eaten it. Soul Patch while. Jackson. I agree. I, I like that. I, I was that way for many, many years. Pay in cash and don't even own a phone. I agree with that. Grass fed butter, yes. Salt I haven't had honey. it, but you know what else is good is coconut oil with salt. And um I've done that before too. Mm -hmm. And what's it called? The pow the 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 stuff that helps with your joints. I'm drawing a blank right now. Magnesium. No, no. Oh, oh, the uh, turmeric. No joints, like joint health specifically, oh. and skin. It's in the marrow of bones. <laughs> Bone marrow stuff. I don't know. No. Bread and circuses. You're right. No collagen. Oh, collagen. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just I, like I, I couldn't I was think thinking of the word. Like the blood in the moment. No, I just lost my, my little mind See, there. See, people for a are minute. trying to help. Yeah, and then... thank you. Uh, <sighs> uh, collagen. So, yeah, like the stuff you get from bone broth, but, but that not you don't want bone broth. Irish coffee, whiskey is also good in coffee. I agree. <laughs> we made we have made our own with like a keto version of it before of, of the like irish cream years, the irish cream yeah i'll make i'll make my own um on occasion irish cream stuff all right i think we're about ready to get off here it's it's been over an hour i can't believe i forgot the word I know. collagen <laughs> is the creek on our property yes absolutely that creek that you see me stand that's that's our that's our property so one of the things i talked about on the um, live the other night was how I was thinking about doing so I wanted to go ahead and throw this out here oh, if you Patriot have... Preacher his wife walked by and asked if that girl was my daughter <laughs> oh <laughs> uh, it's, it's the distinguished old beard look thing I guess um, go ahead sorry but how I, I just wanted to throw this out here um, been thinking about potentially um, writing some ebooks mm -hmm. and you know going on uh what's it called um amazon or no, something you're, no. you're oh, oh our, locals, our locals locals yeah our private uh so membership locals, locals to to talk like to maybe once a week or every other week probably mm -hmm. at first at least you know twice a month just have a my own little whatever yeah, her own private live stream well that way she talks about all her kind of stuff because i'm i'm not comfortable on youtube very yeah. like i come on here with yeah them, another but, bridge was hitting by barge in Oklahoma. Thank you, City Prepper. But um, but I was thinking about the like some some book ideas, and I asked the audience, and they were like, "You should do like top ten, like a top ten series." And there were a few ideas, and somebody's like, "You should do top ten questions." And we were joking. <laughs> is the beard real? <laughs> and is that CGI? Is the creek real? Right. That's what mm -hmm. made me think of that. Um. But if you guys have good ideas, I was just thinking like maybe it'd be fun. Someone emailed me today. It was it said questions for Rivka? I haven't opened it yet. Oh well, then. But I yeah, can you can always it. email. Yes, so, the yeah, dog is barking. Yeah, the dog's been. It's been doing. It's what it does. The dog's fine. It's a good dog. He just. He's kind of young. Listen. Yeah, he's he's still kind of a pup. I mean, he's like 
He's you know, he's at that where he's physically full size, but he's still a puppy. He still wants to play, and he yeah. does, and he thinks he's about and, this and, little, yeah, he thinks but he's, he's a big, giant, and massive, he's like 110 like, pounds. You know, like, ooh. he's like 110 pounds, and he thinks he's five. It is not. He yeah, he's not one of our older guys. No, no, he's he's the puppy. But anyways, uh, yeah, the fire truck CGI. Oh yeah, it's all CGI. It, everything is green screen CGI. You know, I've, I've thought many times I should actually learn how to do that because everyone accuses me of it. Maybe I should do a CGI green screen, whatever. I don't know how to do it. OK, I'm, I'm really low, low, low tech in my videos. So and, and if even you, if I did know how to do it, I don't know that I'd even put that much energy. <laughs> but in I'm going to do it's, there's going to be a some. Lot of work. I had an idea, though, for a children's book, y'all. Can yeah. I tell them? Oh, goodness. Okay. I think it's adorable. Okay. My friend and I were talking. <clears throat> my soapy friend over yeah. there at Crafted and Grace. Creation. And I think that it. we should totally do it. She, she was just joking, I think. And I was like, no, for real. And she's like, no, really, you could do this. And and I found somebody that said she would author. That's a big surprise the, when it happens. I'm not going to tell them who stuff. yet. That would do that not not author but uh illustrate yes illustrate for me i think i'm gonna write a little book about travis's book. beard his his bubbly beard <laughs> i think using the bubbly soap you know because yes it, it's but wonderful. i i think it's i think there would be it would be fun to have like mm -mm. some books that are funny she's talking about the our friend that makes the soap i talk about all the time and i've always yes grafted in grace creations homestead she's right there <laughs> she's laughing and, and her it's soap fun. handmade soap why are you explaining it like very I... <laughs> sudsy i love it and so yeah that's why the, it's the because it's tallow or yeah it's tallow and it's, it's beef tallow. wonderful thick and beautiful it is it's really good soap but anyway, I thought if I could throw in some funny ones, like the top 10 questions that were asked, mm -hmm. and they have to be like real questions. So like, is your beard real or is that a disguise? Are the glasses part of your disguise? <laughs> is that a green screen in the background? Is that CGI? Mm -hmm. I still get emails <laughs> almost every week. They've, they've dropped off a little bit. I'm like... But look, I still, everybody, I still get probably at least two or three a month. In this lighting, it looks more great. Yeah, this, this well, it's this camera. I'm using. We're using like an ultra cheap camera. Yeah, I don't know, but um, can they see it this now? Because usually they're not able to see the white. Well, there's plenty of white in it, but I had I get probably still two or three emails a month of people asking why I why I have a fake beard on YouTube. Somebody says that other people, other <laughs> live streams have ads. As well as um, mid, as well during like the midstream, so it's not just you. Yeah, I don't understand what they've changed something with YouTube. I'm Will you please upset. retype your Proton Mail? Oh, yeah. So we'll do this, and we'll get off here. But it's kind of funny. Like this is a fake well, nose with your fake the type of fake nose, spot. fake glasses, yeah. fake beard. You just put it all on, so you can yes. be disguised. Uh, uh, oops. Travis does not, in fact, need to shave that, sir. Yeah. <laughs> no. Ma'am. All right. There's the email. Mm -hmm. Someone asked about an email. Do I have hair under the hat? Yeah. Pull the lip hair. They want you to pull I the have lip a hair. Lot of hair. <laughs> mm, there you go. <laughs> See, we have to be a little silly sometimes. I know, you I know. can't. If take someone says it's the serious. best co costume ever, you know. <laughs> All right. When you get to dress as yourself, that, that is totally the best yeah. costume. All right, folks. We're going to get off here tonight. It's been almost an hour and a half. I'm tired. You folks are amazing. And Thanks, Angela. I'm trying. I try to bring in some humor and like some yeah. lighter stuff because, y'all, it life is like, <laughs> it's not supposed to be like. Yeah, it's not. You can't take yourselves too seriously. Yeah, That's I think all. people ask all they think that I'm that we just like are constantly living in this state of fear and panic because of the things going on. And honestly, it's just the opposite. Like we don't because because we, you know, number one, we're prepared as, as we can be. And plus, we, you know, we know the end of the story. We know who's on our side. So it's it, we're really not, you know. All we're right. All crazy. Yeah. Are Folks, we crazy? Am I crazy? Are yeah. we? No, y'all. Well, are you're crazy. way more crazy than me. 
Uh oh. Oh goodness. Anyways, folks, you are a blessing. We enjoy talking with you. And uh when we get to heaven, will you be my neighbor? Well, probably. Yeah, we can be neighbors in heaven. <laughs> Don't know how that'll work out, but anyways. All right, folks. In paradise. Yeah, in paradise. Folks, you have a yeah, I need a barber. I, I need I need a barber too. I need to get my hair cut. Um, you folks have a wonderful evening. Get your houses in order, prepare yourselves the way you're supposed to, mentally, physically, <laughs> spiritually. Don't just sit around and, and complain about things. Get out and do stuff. You know, get move forward. What's Keep that in motion? Catch phrase that everybody says now: touch grass. Go touch, touch grass. grass. Oh, I don't Go breathe here. I don't keep up on that stuff. Well, you want your feet in the in the grass yeah. or the sand or the dirt or the soil. Yeah. Get those feet in the in the sound in the sound in the in the ground, mm -hmm. and then like get in tune with the sounds of nature around you. Get away from the cars if you can. Yep. Absolutely. It'd be good for you. Yep. <laughs> All right, you folks have a wonderful evening. We're going to get off of here. God bless you all. Shalom. Let me hit the right Good night. button. Thanks for coming. There we in. go.